Without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to highlight the impact of the current health care situation, the millions of Americans who are losing their health care coverage, including many in Nebraska's 3rd District. Pam Weldon, a self-employed small businesswoman from Minotaur, Nebraska, has a pre-existing condition, but she has had for affordable health insurance coverage, which meets her needs. But she just received this letter, which explains her current plan will no longer be offered. Pam told me she had great coverage before, obviously including coverage of her pre-existing condition. She has since tried to see what is available through healthcare.gov and the 800 number as well, but unsuccessfully. As of January 1st, she will lose the coverage that she likes. Like Pam, millions of Americans are learning they are losing their health care plans they were told they could keep. I've heard from many other Nebraskans who are losing their insurance or their rates have increased so much they cannot afford to keep the plan they currently have. This is not what the American people want, and both sides need to work together to make this right. I encourage all of my colleagues to support the Keep Your Health Care Plan Act. Thank you. I yield back. Gentleman's